Okay, here we're going to go through another example of calculating a ratio. And again, this ratio is just used to compare. Uh, we're going to compare the events that happen uh, between X, group X, and group Y. So we're going to compare the events that happen to group X to those that happen to group Y to see which group uh, has these events happen more often. And one way that we could do that, as I mentioned before, is we could compare the frequency in a group X and divide it by the frequency in group Y. And what that would tell us is for every event or for each event that happens to group Y, how many times does this happen in group X? Now that would be fine, but we know that you can't directly compare these frequencies uh, across groups if the groups are different sizes. So what you'll see more often then is you'll see analysts compare rates. And so you'll take the rate for group X and divide it by the rate for group Y and that'll create the ratio that tells you uh, how many times more or less likely group X is to have something happen than group Y. And so that's what we're going to use as our working definition here for uh, a ratio. And so now we can compare, let's say we have data on click-through rates. We'll keep our examples going from earlier videos. And so we've got the click-through rates for a website and we know that for desktop users the click-through rate is 108 per 1,000, so a little over 10% uh, click-through rate, not too bad. And that we know for mobile users, the click-through rate is going to be 65 per 1,000, so not quite as good. But we want to get a better characterization of these data and find out how do desktop users compare to mobile users. And so to do that, what I can do is calculate a ratio. And let's say I want the ratio of um, click-throughs for mobile users compared to the click-throughs for desktop users. So we would be finding out for every click-through for a desktop user, how many click-throughs are we going to get for mobile users. And to do this, we're going to calculate uh, the ratio as 65, the rate for mobile users, divided by 108, which is the rate for desktop users. And we find out that that ratio is about 0 0.60. Okay, So the ratio of mobile to desktop click-throughs is 0 0.60. And what does this mean? Here's this ratio. Uh, what this means is that mobile users are 0.60 times as likely to click when compared to desktop users. Okay, So clearly we have more click-throughs for desktop users than we do for mobile users and these are standardized rates so we can compare these 108 per 1000 for desktop users and 65 per 1000 for mobile users and what this clearly shows us then is that mobile users are not quite but almost half as likely to click through uh, as desktop users 